Welcome to How to Save Your Marriage with Nicola Beer, a show full of tips and practical strategies to repair, rebuild, and strengthen your relationship. If you are currently stuck wondering if your marriage can be saved, or you know you want to save it but don't know how to go about changing it, this show is for you. And now here is your host, Nicola Beer, who specializes in a proven 10-step program to help couples increase their love, passion, and happiness in their marriage in 30 days or less, guaranteed. Hi and welcome, this is Nicola Beer and I'm going to be talking to you today about time and more specifically, are you spending enough quality time together? Time can be a huge source of conflict in relationships. When you get married, your time becomes their time and if you have children, then you need to also need to schedule in family time and time for family chores. Many couples I speak to are feeling so busy and stressed by feeling pulled in multiple directions that the quality of the marriage is declining. Perhaps you can relate. Are you both so busy with work, the children and your own interests that you can go for days without having a real conversation? Or are your conversations just about bills and finances? Is that how your relationship has become? And what about bedtime? Is bedtime strictly for sleeping now? Or do you have a passionate, intimate relationship? Arguments over how time is spent is fairly common in relationships. But it becomes a problem when quality time is eliminated from the relationship altogether. A lack of quality time over a period of months or years can lead to frustration, resentment and distance. It can also cause feelings of neglect, which creates further emotional and physical distance. It's an area I feel passionate about because many, many years ago, actually this was an area that I failed in. I failed in it in the sense that I became so obsessed with achieving my career goals and financial goals and being a success in one area of my life that I let my relationship slide and I didn't make the quality time for it. And that's when when things happen. Um, And it's not just about time, it's about quality time. You know, it's about having time where you're actually doing something rewarding and and something special with each other. But I'll come to that in a minute. So what I'm going to be sharing with you is I'm going to be sharing with you four keys to um, overcome, to to manage time better in your relationship, to create more love and uh, passion and um, closeness. Because if we're not spending time with our our spouse, then we're not going to be able to have that closeness that we want and that we deserve. And that's what a relationship is all about. Now, as some people will say to me, Nicola, I understand that you're saying we need more quality time together, but we literally have no no time we can't you know we this is just a situation and I will say to them well we have exactly the amount of hours in the day as Richard Branson Bill Gates Steve Jobs and look at all of their successes the Beckhams you know who out have aroused has a successful career and a successful love um, family and so you know we, we all have time in common in fact it's one of the only things that is equal in life it doesn't matter what religious or financial background you come from we all get this this set amount of time so it's about working around and and making it happen because if you really want something if you really are determined to have the relationship in the marriage that you want then you will make time and I'm going to share with you anyway these four keys that will really help and and all honesty as I mentioned just briefly there is that if you only focus on the hours that you have with each other that probably won't work because you can spend a lot of time together sat in um, the same room one watching tv the other on their laptop or on their phone on social media you can have one person switching off and drinking all, all night every night and they're not really engaged or, or having a good conversation. So actually, this won't really benefit your relationship. So it really needs to be having more quality time to, cult- to cultivate the love, the fun, and the passion into the, the marriage. So here are the four steps or keys. Number one is review your current schedule, keep what's important to you, 
and get rid of what's not. So, for example, if there's something that you are doing that you don't really need to be doing or isn't that important to you, but you're doing it for someone else or for something else outside of the marriage, then try and see if you can eliminate it. You know, it, it, whether it, that could be a business thing or something else. I mean, I've personally just gone through this whole process where I'm just so busy that I need to need to, to give things to other people. Otherwise, I'm not going to have time for my relationship. So that could be hiring a few, you know, if I've hired a few assistants, someone to do different things that I don't necessarily have to do to to keep my business going so that I've got more time for my health, my fitness and my my life partner. So what do you need to to do or what can you do and what what can you get rid of on your schedule or what's taking a lot of time that if you outsourced it it would give you more time to to give to to each other. And it's important that you keep the things that you do like because otherwise you're not if you're not going to be happy then there's no point. So it's the striking the balance here, getting the balance of what, what you need to do to make yourself happy and what you need to do to make the relationship and the marriage happy. And it's worth sitting down and going through that. It's actually something I really, really love to do with couples. And number two is cutting out distractions. It's very easy to, when we're in a relationship and we're comfortable with that person then just to be on social media all night or zoning out in front of the TV or switching on your laptop or doing something else when um, you know, you, you're you engaging with your spouse. Like I have one man um, that I was speaking to the other day that I've been working with to, to help him with his marriage and he just said, I'm so furiated. Every time I try to speak to my wife, she then gets up and starts pottering about in the kitchen. And, you know, she doesn't really listen to me. She says she's listening and she can hear it, but she's multitasking at the same time. Or she she says, oh, if you're going to talk, let me get out the ironing. And he was just finding it really um, upsetting and he didn't want to spend time with her. And I hear it from, from women as well who say that as soon as their husband gets home from work, they're straight onto their iPad, uh, reading the news, and or straight onto watching football or rugby, and they just disappear. So make sure that you have quality time. And this is where you can sit together and create some rules around it. So with one couple I was working with yesterday, we decided that what they would do is they wouldn't have um, listen to the, they wouldn't have mobile phones in the morning over breakfast time because that would make the routine in the morning go really slow and then the wife would get stressed at the husband because she thought that he was going to make their, their son late for nursery. So it was like, right, no phones in the morning. And when they first get home, no phones for the first hour that they're in the house together after the long day so that they can all connect um, together as a family and and, um, husband and wife. So number three is create at least 10 to 15 hours alone time. So this is without friends and without children, ideally. So you want at least... 15 hours if you can, minimum of 10 hours. If you're trying to save your marriage or if your marriage is in trouble and you're, you're you know, building up, then really 15 is what is needed to, um, to, get, you know, to, to get back that connection, to help you feel stronger and closer together. And this will make a real difference. And then we also want to be making sure that you're focusing on each other's needs. What do you need? So many women, and this is um, based on the hundreds of of couples that I've worked with and also other studies that have researched marriages, most women really need affection and engaging conversation. I know engaging conversation is definitely one of my things that I, I get attracted to someone by. So in order for me to stay attracted to someone, I need to be able to be communicating with them. That's that's me. So what do you really need? A lot of men, um, you know, sexual fulfillment is really important to them, that physical intimacy, as well as doing activities with their spouse. They like to go out and do things and, and have their, their, their spouse with them. So really think about what you need and what you can do to increase and enhance your time that you do spend together. The next um, 
point, and, and this is really, okay, it's not strictly to do with time, but I wanted to put it in here because it's really, really important. And that's the physical closeness and sleep, sleeping time. Are you sleeping next to each other? So many couples that I work with have fallen into the habit of sleeping in separate rooms when one is pregnant or when the children are young. And what happens is that habit doesn't get changed. That habit of, oh, the odd night, I'm ill, I'm just going to sleep in the spare room or I'm just going to sleep on the sofa doesn't happen. Or there's some couples that they do sleep, uh, they, they do sleep in the same bed, but they're, they're far apart or that they have completely different schedules. One goes to bed really late, the other one goes to bed really early, and they're like ships in the night. So actually, that physical closeness, that space in the bed, can really help increase the the marriage and the time that you, you, you have together. So I just wanted to put that in there. I've gone through that in my relationship before as well, um, where I got, we got into the habits of sleeping in separate rooms, and unfortunately, the relationship did decline because there's that that lack of closeness, and you can sometimes feel like you're just being friends rather than than lovers. Only you know if that's an issue for you. If you're happy with the way things are, that's absolutely great. If your marriage is strong and you have limited time together, that's absolutely great. These tips are really for people who are struggling in their marriage or wanting things to get better and wanting to improve their marriage. And these are just some tips that I hope um, will help you. If you are stuck, and if you're thinking, God, I'm, you know, I'm not sure where to start with, with, with saving my marriage, or I'm not sure where to start on improving it, then I invite you to have a complimentary free Save My Marriage consultation with me. We'll dis- we discuss where you are now, where you want to be. We'll look at any challenges that you've got. And I promise you, I'll give you at least one thing you can do straight away to start improving your marriage after I've spoken to you and heard about your, your situation. So take advantage of that. I'd love to connect with you. Just go to www.savemymarriageprogram.com and forward slash consult. And whilst you're there, you might also like to download my free quiz, which is Can My Marriage Be Saved? And in the quiz, it has 30 of the most common marriage problems and how to solve all of those problems. So I'd love you to, if you have got a couple of different marriage problems, to get that support, it will give you some ideas on what you can do to to make things better. From my heart to yours, have a wonderful week ahead. Thank you for listening to How to Save Your Marriage with Nicola Beer. To book your free Save My Marriage consultation, please visit www.savemymarriageprogram.com forward slash consult. And if you've enjoyed this episode, Nicola would really appreciate it if you could leave a rating and review on whatever app you're listening through so the show stays visible, allowing more people to get the support they need to increase their love, passion and happiness.